I'm Jan with MakeItBooks.com. Uh, my partner and I are resellers on Amazon uh, through FBA. And I'd like to share with you today some of my strategies for uh, buying and choosing uh, plush animals and toys uh, to sell on Amazon. Um, I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got a variety here that I want to share with you. Uh, this first one is kind of cool. He's from Disney. Disney's a good name to buy. If you notice, he's got a nice little tag on the bottom. That's an extra tag. You don't normally find those. He also has his hang tags right here. They're also called, they're called swing tags um, or retail tags. People call them different things. But anyway, basically we usually call them swing tags. And then he also has his tush tag that tells you who he's manufactured for and that information back there. This one needs a little help. He needs his fur to be freshened up. I'll probably put him in the dryer and fluff him up, or um, and then brush his brush his hair a little bit to get him to get him looking nice. I can't wash him because he's got a tush tag. He's got his, his retail tags on him, and they'll ruin it. Um, you would not sell this as new, it because the tush tag the, uh, these tags right here, the swing tags, are um, wrinkled and kind of crinkled up. So you can definitely tell he's not brand new. You would probably sell him for very good because I wouldn't even put do a like new, okay? Because he's not like new. Um, but he's nice and soft. He's pretty. He's got really good looking eyes. And he's unusual. I like that. I mean, we see gorillas around, but it's not just a regular teddy bear. And we like to find ones because those ones that are a little different because they usually bring more money. Um, another one, this is my favorite brand. He's a gun. He's a very large gun. So he'll probably, he'll probably bring a pretty good uh, resale value on Amazon. Again, he's got funky fur in his mane. He's got his tail. He looks good. You always want to look and make sure that there's no little holes in the seams, that all the seams are nice and tight, that um, you look for marker, because for what, some, what unknown reason, sometimes kids put marker on, a, on an animal, and I haven't found a way to get that out. Just general dirt. I can wash him. He's got kind of a dirty muzzle. I'll wash him up good. And uh, I'll put him in the washing machine with just some uh, basic soap, like all, no, no fragrance, no color or anything. And he'll come out really pretty. And then when he, we put him in the dryer, he'll fluff him up and he'll smell good and look pretty. He doesn't smell bad. He's just kind of musty. Okay? You don't want ones that smell bad or have a, a, a tobacco smell to them because I'm not sure that, I've never had one like that. I don't choose them. But I'm not sure that washing would get that out. Um, but you want to look and make sure that he doesn't have a little animal that's been eating on him or anything. He's in real good shape. And, again, he has some cute eyes, too. So, um, these are nice and big ones. These are a little on the big side of what we find. I don't, I don't want to get them too big because then you get into the oversized category. So this is about as big as I'm going to buy. Uh, unless it has really good resale value. This one's really nice and cool. He's got uh, His tag says that he's an Aurora. Um, one thing I haven't mentioned is on the tush tag, the better um, animals or toys, the manufacturers have an embroidered or stitched uh, tush tag that has their logo embroidered or, or stitched on it. Um, the lesser value will be just stamped. Some of those lesser value have some really nice animals, and I'll show you some in a minute, but automatically you know it's a better company, it's a better animal if it has an embroidered label. That's just a, a kind of a little shortcut. Okay? Uh, this is Aurora. You can hardly see his eyes for all his hair. But we'll put him in the washer and fix him up. He's got really nice plush uh, velour on his nose and these nice little wrinkles that give him an extra some character and stuff. And his little feet have the uh, toes uh, defined. So all those little extra details show that he's a much uh, a better animal. Uh, this little girl right here, I think she's really cute with her little sweater and her little button up here. Uh, the only issue I have with her is she doesn't have a good tush tag to help me find out uh, where she came from. All she's got is this little sticker on her that shows uh, the content, uh, the fabric content and the what's in her stuffing and stuff. So she's going to be a little harder to locate, which um, depend, you have to think about it, decide are you willing to take that extra time to find, either to find, find her in there or to try to uh, list it. 
Um, even if you can't find it, there are ways to list. Um, list them on there. Let me see if I can get her to sit up again. This one is real cute. This is a little pig. We found out that pigs right now, I'm, it may change later, but uh, I'm sure it will. Pigs are real popular right now. We've sold several of them already. I like this one. His, um, he's from Animal Alley. They use a stamped tag, but that's okay. They sell real well anyway. He's got a lot of interesting uh, features to him. He's got these funky little feet here and a nice little tummy. It's kind of a suede type fabric with some stitching on it. And then his little tail is really cute because it kind of curls up like that and swings. Anyway, I like him because he's also nice and soft. And a little kid wants to hold, they want to squish their, their animal and, and hold them close to them. They like them to be nice and squishy. So, um, you do want to stay away from carnival animals. Those don't have any value, of course. Um, and the easiest way to see them is just if you, if you, uh, if you squish them, they're going to be real stiff and have kind of a crinkly sound to them. Okay, so you can tell, you'll be you'll know really, really fast what they are. This is Franklin. He comes from a company that I really don't, am not real familiar with called Toy Connection. Um, and it's a stamped label and everything, but he is a well-known book character for, say, a first and second grade. They love Franklin stories. And because he's a licensed character and I recognize him, um, I bought him because he will have good resale value as being one of those characters. He's got these cute little rain boots on. And he's, he's very well made. So uh, this may be a company I want to look, for, look more for. But uh, any kind of licensed character in a decent size, uh, small ones are not going to have probably as much resale value as you'd like. Um, we have a new stra a strategy that we've started to implement in the last few months that's working well for us. We don't list any, uh, anything, any animals or anything that for less than $25. So I have to keep that in mind when I'm choosing uh, animals to sell. Um, and I, have a, I also have another way of doing that that I'll share with you in a minute. Um, I also happened to find a baby doll when I was out. This is one of the Ann Geddes. Um, she's the one who does all those photographs of babies that are really kind of interesting. And this, this doll looks like it probably sat on a shelf or something, and it's, it's a, in really nice shape. So I'm anxious to see what it can bring. But it's a really nice one. Um, this one over here I'm showing you because... Um, it doesn't really meet our strategy. It's a really nice little bear. It's a Christmas theme, which would be good um, for selling around Christmas time. It has a little logo here, so it must be from a company. That's not necessarily a bad thing, because you, uh, you may find that it's already listed on there, or uh, someone may not care that it has that on there. But my deal is, is that I don't think I can list it for more than $15 or $16, so that didn't fit with our uh, overall strategy. One thing that we're doing in order to get to use some of these smaller little uh, uh, plush animals that we find is we're going to start doing some bundling. This one right here is Peter from Peter Rabbit. He's very well made. He's a really nice, I, I really fell in love with him because he's so cute. Um, as you can tell, one of my favorite things is plush animals. Um, we're going to get, um, I'm going to look for one of the groups of Peter Rabbit books and sell it with the bear as a bundle. Um, little children love to be read to while they hold the character. So it will it will do really well as a gift a gift item that way. Um, I have a couple more. I have a little monkey. He's kind of interesting. He's not he's actually a Ty. I don't recommend that you focus on on Ty uh, toys and animals because uh, there are so many of them that uh, they don't bring a lot of money. But if you use it as a part of a bundle, you'll find that it you can uh, do it better. Okay. And I also found these little ones. This is from Russ. I think they have really neat fur on them. They're tiny. They're little uh, farm animals. This one's a lamb, and this is a is a uh, pig. And uh, we're going to try to find like a uh, old McDonald or some other farm book and put it with it uh, to put these together and make a nice bundle. I think it will do really well. Okay. Um, I hope I've given you some hints on how to uh, source your plush animals and toys and that you're successful in your sourcing. Thank you.